how to use a loaded waggler float. Loaded waggler float fishing is a catch anything method ideal for fishing a lake. Loaded wagglers are best at catching lots of different fish rather than targeting any particular species. What are loaded waggler floats? A waggler is a style of float which is attached to the fishing line through an eye at the bottom end of the float. The loading of a waggler is the amount of weight needed to cock the float correctly. A loaded waggler is a float that has some of the loading weight already built in, usually a band of metal at the bottom end just above the eye. The built-in weight will only partially cock the float. Split shot weights are added to the line below the float to finish the job. Unloaded or classic wagglers do not have any weight built in. All the weight needed to cock a classic waggler is added to the line beneath the float. How to rig a loaded waggler. A waggler must be held in place on the line to be able to quickly and correctly cock, but the float cannot be fixed or tied to the line. The float should be sandwiched between two movable float stops, allowing for adjustments to its position when needed. Float stops are tight-fitting rubber beads which are pulled onto the line. The stops grip the line enough to hold the float in place while casting and playing a fish, but they are not so tight that they cannot be slid along the line to make adjustments. Find the depth of water. After attaching a waggler to the line, but before adding the shot, take the opportunity to find the depth of water you are about to fish. As most plummet weights can be hooked, many anglers tie on the hook at this point to use the plummet. Cast out to see how the float sits in the water, then adjust it up or down the line as needed. For more detail on plumbing the depth, please see our film Plumb the Depth of a Lake for Fishing. How to shot a loaded waggler. Once the float is attached, the balance of the loading can be put on the line below the float. Loaded waggler floats are marked with both the amount of loading built in and the balance needed to properly cock the float. Add the required shot to the line under the float until the float settles correctly in the water. Loaded floats are marked with the balancing load in whole weights, number fours or BBs for example. This does not mean these particular weights have to be used. The loaded waggler I'm using in this article requires a balance of three number fours, but I have used two number fours and two smaller number sixes to correctly cock the float. How the balance of shotting is made up and how the shots are distributed depends on how we want the rig to behave as it settles. A spread of small shots down the line will cause the rig to sink slowly as it settles. A slow sinking shotting pattern encourages midwater fish like roach and rudd to intercept the bait as it sinks past them. To better target bottom feeding fish like bream, tench and carp, the shots should be bogged together in the lower half of the rig causing the bait to quickly sink, avoiding the midwater fish. The usual shotting pattern is to have a bulk of shot to quickly sink the rig, followed by one or two small shot to give the bait a more natural looking fall in the last foot or two of water. How to use a loaded waggler. To virtually guarantee catching some fish, a slow sinking loaded waggler rig with a single maggot on a small hook is hard to beat. But don't assume the fish will be there waiting for you. 
to bring the fish to you and keep them there while you catch them, throw in a small number of maggots at least every minute. Feed the fish and cast to the same spot to keep the fish coming. The principle of feeding the fish where you want to catch them also applies to the fast sinking loaded waggler rig. Some anglers use ground bait to carry loose feed down past the midwater fish to the lake bed. Others prefer to loose feed with more bait but less frequently. There are many baits which can be used to catch fish from the bottom, including maggots, casters, worms, sweet corn, lunch meat and pellets. The trick is to provide enough food to the bottom to keep the fish interested while you catch them, but without overfeeding them. How deep to float fish? There is no correct depth to fish at. All fish are capable of feeding at any depth, although the different species have evolved to exploit a particular niche. For example, rudd have upturned mouths, ideal for feeding at or near the surface. Bream are expert at feeding on the bottom, whereas roach can feed well at any depth. So how deep to fish? The answer is be flexible. Start at 6 inches above the bottom using the slow sinking rig or just touching the bottom with the fast sinking rig. If nothing happens or if the fish seem to disappear after catching a few, change the depth. Try over depth, under depth and anywhere in between. Keep actively trying to find the fish while continuing to feed them. The float keeps drifting away. Loaded waggler floats are notorious for drifting out of place. A light breeze can be enough to cause a loaded waggler to move. Unfortunately, because most of the loading of the float is built in, it leaves few options to fight drift. My film Waggler Float Fishing Lake explores the subject of drift in some detail offering a number of solutions using an unloaded waggler. The best answer I have found with a loaded waggler is to fish several inches over depth and allow the float to drift until the bait dragging along the bottom stops it. This is not an option when fishing shallow, but it is also not so important as the fish will expect things to drift in at mid-water. Once the float has drifted out of the spot you are fishing, recast and repeat the process. Other rig options. Float stops can only grip the thin lines used in float fishing so much. When a heavy float is needed to cast a distance or into the wind, float stops can slip on the cast. Use two float stops either side of the float to hold it more securely. Float stops are a relatively recent invention in the angling world. Previously, wagglers were held in place on the line with split shot. No doubt the use of float stops has helped the popularity of loaded waggler floats, but there is still an option to use split shots. The float in this example uses three number fours to cock it correctly. If two of these are used to hold the float in place, only the equivalent of one number four is needed down the line. Although a single number four could be placed on the line at three quarter depth, two number sixes or four number nine shots spread out down the line will result in a more realistic slow sinking bait. A bait that behaves more naturally will catch more fish. Thank you for watching and best of luck with your fishing.